Hey, what's up you guys? Shortness Prime here doing another Four Horsemen Studios action figure review on the Figura Obscura Headless Horseman 2-pack. Haven't reviewed a Four Horsemen figure in quite some time. I've been picking some up here and there throughout this whole time, but yeah, I had to review this guy, especially uh, with my oldest being a huge fan of Halloween and all the spooky stuff. I am very much in the spirit of Halloween, and I love this artwork right over here. Nate Barch has done amazing work for the Four Horsemen forever, right? I, I can't remember since when, right? From the beginning, I guess. Uh, but anyway, it says Figura Obscura right there, and you get the websites, and then on the back, look at that. Oh, Oh man, that is awesome. Really love that artwork. And then on this side right over here, it says Four Horsemen, Headless Horsemen, and then there's a read-up over there. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. You have a, an H kind of, you know, cut into the top right there. And then you can see uh, we get uh, some more websites and some legal stuff and warning stuff right there at the very bottom. Then I really like this feature with the magnets uh, holding this together. You could remove this. And then you can see the figures inside looking really badass. And then you can see how this runs over onto this side right here, around that side right there. And then you have this Nate Barge backdrop, which you could use for the figure. And that's really sick. I love that. Ah, oh, that is so cool. Ooh, creepy eyes and everything. All right, I'm stoked for this thing. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. But first, try and get your Four Horsemen Studios figures. You can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. <laughs> Here's the Headless Horseman and his steed out of the packaging, looking badass. Big thanks to Dave displaying model behavior for the tip about, you know, leaning the horse on the tail. I like that a lot. Tricky to do, but looks badass. I love this thing. However, I did have some breaks. Some of it my fault. Some of it I feel like it's not my fault. Uh, we'll get into that more so. But first, let's get a closer look at the accessories, and then we'll take a closer look at the figure. Actually, let's look at the horse first, because there's the least amount of new with this horse figure, and I really like it a lot. I have a couple of these already, and I will get more, because I think the horsemen are just killing it on these horses. No pun intended. Look at the teeth, man, and the mouth. Great detail. I love the eyes. There's color variation throughout a lot of the parts on the figure. You know, uh, you can see the hair has some paint detail in it. That looks really, really good. I like that a lot. You also have an interchangeable hair piece. You want to tilt the head downward a bit. And then you can just match the shape, get those ported in properly. There that goes. And that looks really good. That looks even cooler. Ah, I love it. I like the silver paint apps. Straps right over here all look good. They have nice leathery texturing on them and everything. That looks nice. I think I may have scuffed it. I don't know if I did that or not. But yeah, the hair and the veins, the realisticness of it all, if that's a word, is making me happy. So I like the fading paint apps right there. Hooves look pretty good at the bottom. Got the belly again. Nice details right here with the paint apps. Like that. So beautiful looking horse, man. I really like these a lot. You know, again, nothing really new going on here. That leathery texturing and the paint detail on it. Ah, looks so sick. And this side looks really good too. I'm glad that they didn't add these pieces right here like th that we'd seen before, but looks great. There's your horse butt. Horse tail looks really good too. And yeah, man, a really good looking horse. I love the Four Horsemen. I think they do amazing work and I will continue to support them, but I did get some breaks over here. Uh, anyway, you get the sword and it does look really good. I love the hilt right over here. Nice rivets and everything. Love that gunmetal gray. Looks fantastic. You get six pairs or <laughs> six hands. You get two even sets of sword holding hands and you can see that leathery detail, nice picked out detail with the silver right there. And these have the horizontal hinges on them. And then for just the left side, you get a vertical hinge sword holding hand right there. And then you can see some paint chipping a little bit. And then you have this open hand right over here. And then on this side, you do have an open hand. And again, a horizontal hinge, sword holding hand. And then you have the head holding hand where I had gotten a break. So uh, this whole thing popped off on me. I did super glue it back together. You could see it right over here. Uh, so hopefully that works out in the future where I can pop the heads on without having this piece come off with it. That was very frustrating. I guess from here on out, I'll have to heat that up. But looking at the pumpkin head right here, I do like both of them. They look great. And there's some paint on my thumb. 
but nice yellow. And they did add some paint detail inside the mouth and eyes. And then you have the Flamio Mahatman head, which is my favorite. Oh, that looks so freaking sick. Nice color details right there. I like that yellow fading to orange. Really good sculpted work over here. I really like that a lot. Wish they could fit in some kind of light up feature with this. That would have been pretty cool. But yeah, oh man, that is so awesome. Really like that. And then you have the stump. Yeah, so that's really cool too. So when he's holding his head, uh, you can see the vertebrae coming through right over there and all the muscle tissue and everything. So that's nice and nasty. And then you can see right over here, I wish they did include instructions. First, I was thinking I was breaking stuff, but no, uh, I wasn't breaking stuff. This does pop off right over here. So you could see that and it ports with this plug into this right there. And then you take this piece off and then you go ahead and take your stump and you just plug that right in like so. Then you have your stump right there. And then to put the cape on, uh, you, you lay the cape over here, get this all lined up and getting that little handkerchief piece over the chain and boom, there you go. And uh, it's not sitting in all the way. There it is. And that looks pretty good to me. But I'm gonna go ahead and remove this again and I wanted to talk about the cape because I really like the cape, but I also hate the cape. It gave me the butt sweats. I'll explain in a minute. But there's a bendy wire coming all the way through here, goes around the collar, and then all the way through the edge, and then all across the bottom. It is a nice, large cape, man. I really dig it a lot for the posability and everything. However, um, this part is very frustrating to deal with. What gave me the butt sweats uh, twice, actually, was... Uh, there's just this little piece of fabric that the chain was hooked onto on each of these sides and it ripped on mine Because at first I didn't know that I was supposed to pull this off So I was trying to wrap it around it. So that's my fault right there That's not the horseman's fault if that happens to you what you can do and what I did right here It's very much kind of like peeling a staple off a piece of paper. You want to kind of pick one of these pokey edges that are holding these discs into place and then you could hook the chain around that and I did that on both sides it actually broke on both sides right over there for me but what really gave me the butt sweats was the chain link breaking in the middle ah oh, I needed two different sets of needle nose pliers to get that together and oh jeez that was horrible and uh, you guys know what I mean by the butt sweats when you get so stressed out or upset you know your butt just starts sweating is that just me might just be me. Butt sweats. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to submit a request for a replacement part for that. See if that works. But looking at the rest of the figure, I do love all these picked out silver buttons throughout. Looks really, really good, man. I like the texturing right over here on the sleeves. Again, the hands. Nice buckles right over there. On the back, uh, I, I think I have one of the figures that they'd reuse this stuff from, but you can see the back right over here. And I want to show this off without the cape, so it wasn't getting in the way, but nice pouch right over there. Again, I like the paint detail on the pouches. Nice black paint to get the wrinkles in there, kind of popping a little bit more. Looks really good. Nice texturing on the legs. And then gunmetal gray right over there for uh, those shin guards and everything. Nice straps. Really dig that a lot. Again, more leathery detail on the back. Boots look pretty good. I love that leathery detail. He does have peg holes at the bottom of the feet as well. Oh yeah, and this material right here, I really like it a lot. It's very soft and you know, when you have the figure uh, sitting on the horse, it doesn't get warped on me and stuff. Now the horse has really good articulation. You can move the head up and down a bit and it does pivot right here and you can rotate it side to side. You get a little bit of pivoting right over there at the neck and it moves up and down and it swivels a bit. Uh, you get a hinge right here at the top of the front leg and it rotates right there and you get a hinge that moves down and uh, straightens out that much you can rotate there as well you get rotation right here at the ankle it's not a pivot it's more of a horizontal turn and you have a hinge right here down at the foot and you can not move the legs outward on this side you can move the legs outward though so you can move them out just that much and kick back rotate forward and you get a hinge right here at the top of the leg and then you could rotate up there as well and then you get a hinge right here and rotates and then you get the hinge where it won't move forward so much but it moves back and it rotates right there 
and then the tail that could move back it can move downward and you can rotate it now for the figura obscuras articulation it's on a ball joint right there so it just rotates up and down a bit you can turn it side to side you do get some pivoting right there and then the shoulders do move outward that far you can move them inward rotates forward rotates back no bicep swivel you get a single jointed elbow rotates at the elbow then i went over all the wrist articulation already this one moves up and down this one has the horizontal hinge you get a ball joint right there at the waist that will pop off but it pops right back on so i'm not that mad at it but it does pivot crunches forward a little bit back rotates hips move outward that far we have good leg articulation so he mounts the horse very well kicks forward kicks back upper thigh cut and then a single jointed knee that bends at 90 degrees rotates at the knee as well and the ankles do move down they do move up a bit and it has beautiful ankle pivot oh and you can rotate the ankle side to side too and to measure out this headless horseman figure all the way up to the top of those flames you can see it's at about eight and a half inches tall to the top of the head closer to around seven seven and a half inches tall maybe and i did measure out the cape span and that's at about 12 inches across and then for some mythic legions size comparison and I did forget to show that you could store the sword right over there. But yeah, I wanted to compare the Headless Horseman next to Equidron, and we have Varg. And oh, I never reviewed this, but holy crap, I love this thing. Like every time I pick this thing up, ah, it just looks so amazing. I love my Varg too, but yeah. Ah, Equidron. Then for a couple other Mythic Legion comparisons, we have the Not Stratos and the, I can't remember, I'm not enough of a He-Man fan to know their names well enough, but yeah, I still really like these figures a lot. Then here's the Headless Horseman next to a couple other Four Horsemen figures. We have the Gothatropolis Pharaoh, and then we have the Seventh Kingdom Elephant figure. I can't remember the name of that one. I did pick up a couple of the Ravens figures, but yeah, I'm not showing them off today. Then to compare the Headless Horseman with the horse, you can see we have Arthur and Anon, and then we have a regular brown horse and the skeleton warrior guy again names but yeah uh, i'm really liking all three of these they, they all look fantastic and i'm probably gonna get more yeah and then here's the headless horseman with its horse next to the mcfarland toys dark knight returns batman with its horse right over there and they scale to be at about the same size over here now of course i do like this one more but this one is very good still i mean especially for the price point this horse is actually pretty amazing for how cheap it is you know what i mean but if you want the premium horse with the veins and the fur sculpted on there and a lot more paint detail well yeah you want to go with this one and it has a lot more articulation too but for the price you can't beat this thing it's quite unbelievable and then here's the headless horseman next to another flaming pumpkin headed figure we have the toy biz not marvel legends but i think this is the spider-man series jack-o-lantern and again big thing century productions and then here's the headless horseman next to your average six inch scale figure we have the marvel legends big time letdown spider-man whoa jack skellington huh i love it when you dress up as the pumpkin king <laughs> this is halloween it's <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. And a big thanks to all of you for watching. I really do appreciate it, especially if you made it all the way through the video. It means a lot to me. It really does. Now, this figure right here, I really like it a lot, man. I'm just going to say it right off the bat. I am still really stoked to have this figure. I am really bummed out about the breaks, though, because I wanted to take more photos of this figure, and I only have so much time to work on these videos and to take the pictures. So working on fixing stuff took time away from the fun. So I'm going to contact them and see if I can get a replacement for that hand, at least. Hopefully, we'll see. I don't know. I've never reached out to the four horsemen uh, for a replacement like that before. So that's new to me. And look, man, I I'm not trying to shill for the four horsemen over here or anything. They don't roll like that. They don't need to. They are invincible in the collecting community. All right. So not going for any of that. Just saying that aside from all those breaks and everything, I still really like the figure a lot. It still looks really badass to me. I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy to have it. I like it a lot. I don't really have any complaints about it aside from the brakes like uh, until that happened i was just 100 percent thrilled about the figure but the freaking brakes man ah, i just wish it wasn't so delicate and you could blame it on me all you want i know you're gonna because again the four horsemen are invincible in the collecting communities the brakes are there but i'm still really happy with this figure and it's not cheap 150 bucks plus shipping so at that price point brakes and all I'm still giving this Headless Horseman 2-pack a sun rating of... I love it! 
Yeah, so call me a sucker, I guess. That's that, that's a better term, because I love the fantastic artwork that I'm getting with this piece. I'm a sucker for awesome art. Not sorry, all right? I want to know what you guys think. Please let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see a photo gallery of images and the latest in action figure news, you can find it all over at toynewseye.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok. And I am auctioning extra figures over on Whatnot. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Hey, I'm sure of Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.